Welcome to Bowling Green, Kentucky, home of Big Red and the Hilltoppers of Western Kentucky. We're expecting a full house, and they are more than ready to get things started. What an exciting matchup we have in store for you this afternoon, built around the pageantry, tradition, and everything that makes college football great. As we see a squad from the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes, taking on a team from Conference USA, the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. The Buffaloes will get us started with the opening kickoff. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. So the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers offense will start this game off. And here comes their leader, Jesse. He just has a way of elevating everybody's play. And he's a point guard, too. So good at distributing the football, finds the open guys, and he makes this offense go. Makes it go, and just, you can trust him. Everything is available. But you're not playing with one arm behind your back. You've got all guns blazing. Great job by the defense there, slowing down that jet sweep. And a big key was the defensive end containing the play, forcing the receiver to cut back inside to where all the traffic was. Now on second down. From the gun, the running back has it. Just enough there to get it to the 25, a pickup of two. Man, a nice second effort by the back to break a tackle. But how about those defensive backs willing to come up, stick their face in the fan, and make a tackle? Those are the best run defenses, too, right? It's not just D-linemen and linebackers getting all the plays, but it's DBs that are willing to not just cover, but tackle backs in the open field. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. He's going to have enough to pick up the first down as they stop him at the 33-yard line. They pick up the first down on the drag route. Good job by the receiver knowing it was man coverage. If he's looking, he's booking. He gave his quarterback the eyes right away that says, hey, I'm not stopping. Put it out in front of me. I'm getting this first down. To the ground with the back. Slams ahead for a yard out to the 33. Well, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Yeah, and you don't see very many quarterback hits on screens. You know, the offense wants to bluff real quick and make it look like pass, and then the quarterback's supposed to pop up, look like pass, and quickly get rid of You could tell timing all wrong. It was all jacked up, and that play went absolutely nowhere. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Quickly complete. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. It's really hard when you get in those predictable situations. Defenses are sitting on the sticks. Receivers have to understand where that first down marker is. Heads up play, nose for the first down marker. Get in there and get it. And the Hilltoppers are moving quickly down the field. Here's the handoff. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. after picking up a couple at second and eight. Takes a handoff, it's Young. Still running at the 40. Lots of green grass as he gets it to the 31. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. The Hilltoppers will snap it on first and 10. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. 
They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. I think throughout the week in practice, when they were game planning their opening script, I don't even know if they envisioned it going as well as it has. This has been beautiful. Nice balance, really nice rhythm. It feels like everything they're dialing up here on their first drive of the game is working to perfection. Looking to the end zone. Touchdown, WKU. And they jump on top. You love as a head coach to watch your offense take the field and establish a rhythm and consistency the way they did there. Everything they dialed up was working to perfection. They go 10 plays on the opening drive and cap it off with a touchdown. Lining up for the PAT. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. They march 78 yards down the field, and they finish it up with a 15-yard scoring toss. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. So the Colorado Buffaloes offense will try to get something started with their first possession. You know, yards figure to be hard to come by through the air, but some quarterbacks, Jesse, just love to go at the star corner. Yeah, and this guy's got confidence. He's not afraid to go at anybody, but he better be careful because this cornerback is one of the best in the nation. One of the best, no doubt. I think they will trust him on defense to make plays. So you got to make a decision. Is my guy good enough to beat him on the outside? I am fascinated by this matchup. And the Buffaloes headed quickly to the line. Red pass, it's complete. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. You complete some of these hitch throws early, you're setting up the hitch and go. Later on, you can pump fake that, and then the receiver can pirouette right up the sideline. That might be a home run play for the offense. They've got it at the 36. It's a first and 10. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Oh, he wants it all. Grabs it at the 25-inch stride. And he eluded the defense, and he'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Bucks! Well, he's just running straight down the field. The thing you got to look at there is the velocity on the throw by the quarterback. He didn't lob it. He got it to him quickly, put it on his body. He was able to make the catch and then run it in for a touchdown. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And it's up and good. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish the drive with a 64-yard scoring toss. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Here comes the Western Kentucky offense back onto the field. Quarterback on the keeper. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I tell you what, as that ball starts to get towards the sideline when they're running these option plays, man, those outside players become more pivotal. My corners have to be able to tackle. My secondary is going to be much more involved in getting the quarterback to the ground. Nice job by the secondary, by this defense. From the gun to give, looking for room. Danced his way through traffic. Pick up a four to the 19. 
Listen, I know that's not a huge gain, but those run plays add up. They make you tackle the back every single play. Physically, you have to get some guy on the ground. It takes its toll throughout a fourth quarter game. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. Absolutely nothing settled. Deadlocked after one period of play as we have a look at the stats. That first quarter set the standard, and we hope we get a lot more of that here in the second. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. I personally love aggressive defense. I love it. Bringing the strong safety down, blitzing that sucker in there to get the quarterback. Boom. Get that guy on the ground. Nice aggressive play call by the defense. And the Hilltoppers will line up to punt it away. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. Bringing it back, it's Horn. He couldn't find much running room there. Didn't get a lot of blocking, and he'll step out of bounds. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Linebackers trying to create some confusion. And the Buffaloes want to move quickly. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. Lining up from the 34 on first down. Might as well give it to him again. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. And runs like that are like body blows in a boxing match. Four, five, six-yard gains early turn into 20, 30, 40-yard gains later. They really wear down defenses, and they test their physicality. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Handoff from the gun. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves the change for the first down. Well, with the weapons this offense has, you knew it was just a matter of time in the run game before someone was going to break a long one. They'd just been running into a wall. They just couldn't seem to find their creases and get enough movement up front, but they finally got it there, picking up the first. Let's see what happens next. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the linebacker's showing you read and react. He knew exactly where that running play was going, and he beat the football to the line of scrimmage and forced the TFL. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Looking for space. It's Hayden. Ball is loose. Once that ball was loose, offense didn't have a chance. Defenders everywhere. It's a turnover. As a defender, you love the big hits. And you know what the cherry on the Sunday is? When you get the big hit and force the fumble. The Hilltopper offense comes onto the field again. Last time, David, it was one, two, three kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. You know, as a defense, you can have the right call and the right guy in the right spot, but that guy's just too good. And how about the running back on that play? Just making it happen, breaking off the huge gain. It's tough to get these guys on the ground. 
Reads it, fires complete. Stopped after making the catch. This is a very tough slot receiver to cover if you're a linebacker because of how quick and how shifty he is. You never seem to know which way he's going, and he always seems to create an open space for his QB. Picked up some yardage on the ground. Now here comes second down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And he'll have enough for the first down at the 42. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down marker. The Hilltoppers with the first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. Couldn't connect on that last play, now second and 10 from the 42. Using his legs, it's Young. Maybe a three-yard pickup there, third and long coming up. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. It's third down now, and they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. We'll take a quick break here. Two minutes to play in the first half. Got quite a ways to go to keep this drive going. It's third down from the 45. From the gun, wants to pass. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. And the Hilltoppers decide to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Gets it out fast. And he surges up to the 36-yard line, and they'll move the chain. This receiver is such a weapon, and he has so much speed, and he can generate explosive plays for your offense, not just running go routes and post routes, but how about throwing him the drag, letting him catch it, and use his speed to turn it upfield. The Buffaloes will hustle to the line. Looking to go up top on first down. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. They'll immediately call timeout. One of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch. If he's got any space around him, he's able to burst. He's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense. You saw it right there. He's got an open man. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. And I love when you understand when I'm supposed to put some RPMs on that football. You could tell he's thrown over the middle of the field. He knows he's got defenders there. I got to throw this thing in there quick, fast, in a hurry. Nice job by the quarterback. Now inside the 20, first and 10 from the 18. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. Quickly complete. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. Man, that quarterback knew that was a tiny window to throw into, and he just showed off his cannon of an arm. He makes a grab. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. He is dealing on this drive, completed all five throws, and now they have first and goal. Yeah, and who needs balance when you got a guy like this? You trust him, getting the ball back in the pocket. The ball's coming out, spreading it around the field. Nice decision-making. This drive has been surgical for this QB. Dropping back, it's Sanders. He makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Colorado! And this quarterback really does a great job of seeing the defense and seeing what kind of coverage they're in. And I think when this offense goes empty and they spread the defense out, 
it just makes it so much more simple for the QB to see what the defense is doing pre-snap and then post-snap. You can tell he's playing in a great rhythm right now because he's seeing the field, and these empty sets are really helping him out. And wait just a second. The official's going to take a second look at this one. So the officials take a closer look, and the replay booth will overturn the call. Looking to pass on second down. Snags it! And he was straining for the goal line, but the defense stopped him short. The offense will stop the clock and use one of its timeouts. Third and goal, and they'll try to pass it in. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. They'll have to settle for a field goal attempt. This is not the problem here. The angle is a little tricky. And that is no good. After that failed field goal attempt, fellas, still tie ball game. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. May not be the most memorable play of the day, but it's important as he gets them out to the 25-yard line. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. All right, guys, looks like we've got a great atmosphere today in Bowling Green, Kentucky. It's been very evenly played through two quarters. Both teams have been physical. Both teams have battled there in the trenches. Neither has been perfect, but they're both right there in this game. And it's kind of the calm before the storm. Each side sort of licking their wounds right now, but expect another fight in a phone booth in this second half. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at LT Smith Stadium. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. Coming out with it, it's Horn. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. And then a low-scoring game like this one, David. Got a lot of running room. He's at the 30. Past the 10. Touchdown, Buffaloes! And with that one, they jump on top here in the second half. And when you have so many playmakers on offense like they do, they can score quickly. <laughs> you just saw it right there. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. That one's going to get a little star marked beside it on the play sheet. One play, explosive, touchdown just like that. They're lining up to boot it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here comes the Western Kentucky offense back onto the field. Wide receiver coming across in motion. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. 
Well, they're trying to get that run play going to the outside, but it's the defensive end who does a great job winning his one-on-one -on -one and forcing the negative play. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Keep it on the ground. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. It's an offense that takes pride in being physical. They try to get it going on the ground, but no gain on that one. Just nowhere to run, not a lot of wiggle room for the ball carrier. This defense came in knowing that they had to match their physicality. Let's see if they can keep it up. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. They're bringing heat. Pretty nice as a defense, right? When you can go nickel, put five DBs on the field, and not have to blitz anyone, trusting your front four to get the job done on third down, and they do it right there, getting the sack. The Hilltoppers will try to pin them back with the punt. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He gets it away from his own end zone. A fair catch is called for and made just across the 50-yard line. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Finds his man. It's Hunter. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. And the Buffaloes want to crank the tempo. They'll try to pop the draw. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Here on third down, will they go back to the running game? On the run, it's Hayden. Oh, how did you make that move? Moving deeper into enemy territory. Move the chains. It's first down at the 27. It's so hard to play defense when you've got things in front of you. Everybody going one direction, somebody coming back the other direction. You can't trust your eyes. Really good job by the offense, giving you some eye candy, something to look at so it wasn't easy coming downhill right at you. Hard to diagnose plays. He wants to throw. Fires to the right. He makes a catch. And he'll haul it in and take it to the end zone. Touchdown, Bucks! This dude is just slicing and dicing this defense into little tiny pieces. Carving him up, completely comfortable, knows exactly what he's getting, had so much success today. You gotta find a way to make these quarterbacks feel more uncomfortable. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point puts them on top 21 to 7. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they cap things off with a scoring toss from 27 yards out. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here's the return from inside his 10. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Hilltopper offense comes onto the field again. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game. So, Palmer, no need to panic. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. On second down, he'll let it fly. 
Quick strike complete. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Yeah, and I tell you what, when you stick these fast suckers in the slot, they don't have to be big. But you get those guys that are so quick in the slot, they can get great matchups, and I can get the ball to them quick because they're such dynamic playmakers. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. The RPO fire complete to the left. The defense wouldn't let him lose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. Well, that receiver's looking at his teammates like, guys, what's up? You're not going to block for me on the screen? Seriously? I mean, I just lost yards on a screen play. How does that happen? Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. They try to pop a run on the draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, you have to find a way to create some hesitation on defense when you're selling the draw play. They just didn't do it well enough there. Yeah, and it's got to be the offensive line and the quarterback and the running back. They all have to work together to, to show pass, pass set up front, act like it's a throw for the quarterback, not rush it. But the defense clearly not fooled, got in the backfield, got the tackle for a loss. And he just throws it away on third down. I don't think you can give up on a play like that. And offensively, we know it's hard throwing the ball in third and long situations because the defense can play big zone coverages. They got a lot of guys with their eyes on you. So the QB had no shot there. Nobody open. Nice job not forcing it, not risking a turnover, just throwing it away. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Looking for a block. It's Horn. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. They'll throw it on first down. He lets it fly. He's got it downfield for a huge game. This quarterback obviously did a lot of film prep coming into this one. He has been picking this defense apart. With that last completion, guys, he's now got over 300 yards passing. And the Buffaloes come to the line in the hurry up. Going up top on first down. Throws to the wideout. Fires into traffic. Picked off. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. I love when people start to understand what we're doing defensively. If they're going to pass the football and that's where they're going to live, well, I'm going to live and dime. I'm going to bring more defensive backs on the field so I can cover more of these speed guys that they have out there. Great job by the defensive back, breaking on the football, making the INT, making the DC look very smart. Here comes the Western Kentucky offense back onto the field. They'll start this drive with a pass. Got his man to the left. A little more space, open up that playbook even more as they pick up the first down out to the 30. Listen, QBs and wide receivers got to be on the same page. And they, you got to know when to throw that curl route. It's got to be on time, right when the wide receiver breaks so the DB can't catch up. Nice job, QB and wide receiver, being on the same page, getting some positive yards. Got it behind the line. It's Smith there to make the tackle. And with that, we'll head to the fourth quarter. Guys, Colorado has the lead here. They've built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we got here. One more period to go, and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them. Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw. They'll run the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. And no messing around right now if you're on offense. This is the time where execution has got to be at a premium. You need to hit completions, David. They need some big plays. Yeah, and you just want to keep pressuring them and keep making them use the clock, give them the underneath stuff. And again, when they drive the football down the field, I just can't give up touchdowns. Field goal at this point is not going to hurt my defense. Now they're starting to feel it. They've got a first down at the 44. Man, who says you can't run up the middle anymore, right? Everybody thinks, I got to make big plays. I got to go way out to the left, way out to the right, way out in space. Nope, right down the middle. Nice blocking. How about the running back? You could tell the speed, the wheels, does a great job getting down the field, making a huge rushing play. To the ground. He's got it again. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
I love when you start bringing linebackers up near the line of scrimmage and you start sending them because those guys have serious speed. They can come catch anybody up and down the line of scrimmage. The linebacker, you could tell, he had a good clue what was going on. He knew it was a run play, fired, pulled the trigger, came downhill, and attacked the running back. Wants to throw on second down. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. My job is to make sure that ball comes loose. And I got to go through that guy, use my shoulder pad, drive my feet, and really, really be physical. Because if he bobbles it at all, or as soon as his hand gets to the ball, you can tell the difference when that body jerks forward and that ball starts to come loose and pop out. Looking down the middle, a strike downfield. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, Western Kentucky. Old Uncle Mo has changed sidelines. Look out, brother. Here's what happens, right? Something happens, gets you close in the ball game. The defense needs to come out here, get a stop, get that ball back to the offense. All oh, Uncle Mo on your side. No backs with the quarterback as they line up for the two. They'll go to the air. Gets it out quickly. He's in there for the two-point conversion, and now they're just down six. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Nice move there. Stopped at the 25 after a five-yard gain. Man, that's the advantage of having a good coaching staff to teach these players in this type of situation with the lead late in the game. You want to stay in the field of play and keep the clock ticking. They do that after that nice run. The Buffaloes are in the hurry up. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Horn. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. You know, and that's disappointing for the head coach because you drill these two-minute, four-minute type situations late in games. You've got to have awareness and understand what you're trying to accomplish. You're trying to bleed the clock, and you can't do that if you're running out of bounds. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Got to give the defense credit. Watching film, anticipating. They knew that this offense had this play in their back pocket. They knew about the speed of this wide receiver and different ways they were going to try to get him involved. Everybody on defense on the same page playing together. I love it. Holds and fires complete to the right. So difficult, because my eyes tell me as a defensive guy, he's handing it off. The offensive line's block and run. I got to go get it. Quarterback pulls it, throws it to the right. It's kind of like that hidden hat game. Like, where's the ball? I'm try always trying to find that deck. Come to the line at the 42, facing a third and short. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. They'll get it to the 48, no need to measure, it's a first down. You know, you start day one of training camp running your base runs. You need a few yards, you run these plays. You need a first down, you run these plays, you rep them over and over and over again. They're not sexy, they're not pretty, but in the end, they're effective and they get you that new set of downs when you need them. They keep it on the ground, clock is their friend. Well, this offense thinks that they have enough left in the tank here to run the football and run all the time off the clock. They got the lead late. Didn't get the first down on that last one, but it's not going to surprise anybody if they turn around and hand it off again here. 
Time is on their side, and they're going to wind that play clock all the way down. Back to throw, it's Sanders. And they can't connect, but the flag flies, and I think this is going to be pass interference. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. Caught in the backfield, it's Horn. And that will go backwards, a negative play, and that defense on high alert that time. Well, give the defense credit on that one, because they knew coming into this one that they were going to try to get this receiver the ball in a variety of ways. They were ready for the screen there, and they create a negative play. And the Buffaloes in the hurry up. dialing up a second down pass play. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Well, the defense was obviously ready for that play. They've obviously been watching film. They know that that pass play is one of the bread and butter plays this offense has, so nice job defending it. It's third down now. They ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. From the gun, wants to pass. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Really nice third down sub defense there that time. It's third and long. They're expecting pass. And they're mixing up their looks. They're trying to change the picture pre-snap to post-snap to confuse the quarterback. And now forcing the incompletion setting up fourth. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. We've reached a two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. So they are lining up to kick it off after that last drive, put a three-spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut them down. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Hilltopper offense comes onto the field again. They unleashed an aerial assault last time that took them right to the end zone, David. So, Reese, with that drive, I think you've accomplished something you wanted to accomplish. Make this defense think. You put them back on their heels. Now, shoot, Palmer, you might be able to slip a few runs in on this drive to really jack them up. Yeah, I like that idea, but I also like the fact that speed kills, and they've got it at the receiver position. So if you've got one-on-one -on -one matchups, man, take advantage. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. They'll try to get the first through the air. Wide open downfield. Defense on skates that time. They finally drag him down at the 42. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. They'll rush to the line, clock stopped for the first down. They'll set the chains and wind the clock. He's gonna pass. Unloads to the wideout. Intercepted. He couldn't quite get loose on that return, but he'd already made the play and they've got it at the 35. That should be the nail in the coffin. What a great break on the football. Getting the big turnover. You got the lead. Now just go out there, be smart on offense, and run that clock. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. 
And now when you have a solid lead like this, Jesse, you find out, can you deliver the knockout punch? And we're expecting them to come out here and just run the football, bleed the clock, let the big uglies up front, get some push, and ball security, David. That's a premium. Yes, take care of the football. Don't make any dumb mistakes. Be physical. And listen, if they want to load the box, don't be afraid to take a shot. They'll run the ball. The clock is on their side. And it'll be a pickup of nine. They're facing a third and one. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. They'll try to power their way ahead. That'll get the job done and move the chains, and they'll mark the ball at the 45. These situations are preached so much in college football. Finishing a game strong, understanding circumstances, they are running the football right at you, trying to keep that clock moving, get a few first downs, and get a W. Running out the clock seems to be a mere formality here as they are ready to snap it in victory formation. And the offense is content with where it is. They'll take a knee. 